my name is anita baba uh, my topic is yoga concepts in real life the reason i have taken this yoga concepts in real life topic is see we are very much uh, busy with our day to day activities and we are so much involved in our uh, other uh, worldly life activities either getting a position or health related problem or whatever so we are getting very busy with that and due to that we are following uh, we are having so much of stress in our lives so if we uh, bring these yoga concepts in our life of day to day activities then it will help us uh, to deal um, uh, the, with our uh, day to day problems as well as it will help us to enhance ourselves even after life so let's uh, get on with my uh, presentation uh, into it yeah first of all the yoga word came from uh, it's a sanskrit word the meaning of this word is to join or or to yoga that means uniting our individual self with that supreme self and also yoga helps us in balancing our body mind and spirit the concepts of yoga will help us to practice um, our day to day life and to improve our current life the concepts of yoga are karma dharma mana buddhi samskara vasana kriya viveka vairagya and sanyasa these are some of the major concepts we will be getting into them one by one oh. sorry i just want to click the next one yeah the concept of yoga is nothing but any action we do either physically mentally verbally or any social activity we do that creates an impression whether it is good or bad impressions so these based on these impressions only we lead our current life means whatever life we are having now it's based on our past karmas so in the ancient egyptians used to follow a technique called warming where they can go into the past time and uh, warm up the negative karmas and then they can bring that positive good karmas into the current life so that they can change the current life but this process is very difficult for a normal common man to follow the best way to avoid negative karma is we need to follow the universal law that means we need to go according to the nature the next concept of the is dharma that is a pathway to lead our life usually often people uh, uh, get in uh, confusion with religion they think they just simply follow a religion will uh, uh, show the pathway to dharma actually the real meaning of dharma is we need to follow a a pathway which is suitable for everyone and the dharma which links to that supreme power would be the real uh, um, way of following dharma with this kind of uh, following method we can realize ourselves and we can live our life with success and we can achieve existence knowledge bliss and absolute and we can see the one human world by following this kind of dharma path the next one the next concept is called mana mana is nothing but a mind the metaphysical ability of a mind which receives signals from that supreme so it can be good or bad thinking so the mind with uh, five senses is called manomaya sadhana which will help us to uh, control our mental ability so some of the uh, uh, studies have been used these manomaya kosha sadhanas and they improved mental health of a person so meditation would be a greatest way, a tool to control our mind which would help us in positive building and buddhi is one of the concept that is nothing but an intelligence 
which is needed to make decisions in our life. Often, people will get confused with the real in intuition with the thoughts what they make individually. The intelligence is nothing but the, the intuition which you get from that supreme power is called real intuition. And Mr. Rupert Sheldrake and C.S. Pia, they say that a universe evolves, habits of nature evolve. So when we make our nature as per the universe, then we'll be able to achieve the two-way communication through Agna Chakra. Agna Chakra is located at the center of our agros and often the buddhi is nothing but it is called as radius of our Atma's reflection. The next concept is called Samskara. Samskara as we have already discussed, it's the impression which is created by Karma. So, it is based on karma. We will have good and bad samskaras. That is what will uh, uh, help us in having our birth. That means based on our past samskaras, we are having the current birth. So, the uh, cycle of birth and death is called transmigration cycle. To achieve that ultimate state of power would be our destiny. So when we have bad samskaras, the destiny would take very long. And when we have good samskaras, the destinies would be uh, destiny would be shortest. So accumulated of samskaras would be affecting our current life. So exa the exhaustion of samskara can be done by nirbija samadhi and vichara. The Nirbija Samadhi means it's a kind of liberation from the attachments and the thought of our mind. And Vichara is nothing but we will have these subtle thoughts. The next um, concept is called Vasana. Vasana is nothing but a group of impressions which are similar. That means uh, our actions depends on our personality which are based on uh, following our own vasana and it, it, it also affects of our future, our personality, uh, it is uh, our future actions are determined by the personality. So again, the vasanas are also kind of impressions which can be exhausted by nirvikalpa samadhi. Nirvikalpa samadhi means it's, it's, it's a body becomes uh, free from all attachments and then the mind gets in, uh, in melted with the inner self that is called Nirvikalpa Samadhi. The next uh, uh, concept is called Kriya, nothing but a practice or an exercise of a technique from the yoga and uh, often uh, the the psychologist uh, Mr. Eric Hoffman uh, uh, conducted a research in 1998 and the people who have uh, followed these Kriyas have increased their um, mental ability by uh, alpha, theta, the alpha theta activities were increased by 40%. And also these kriyas can help in cleaning our body organs. That is not, nothing but there are few listed down here. That is called Dauti, Basti, Neti, Tarak and Kapalabhati. Dauti and Basti are related to stomach related kriyas. Neti is nothing but nozzle related kriyas. And Tarak is nothing but eye related. And Kapalabhati is related to skull and the brain. And Viveka is one of the concept. It is uh, it's a ability uh, to realize between the reality and the fantasy of a life. So it develops the uh, wisdom uh, which manages the manages the emotional intelligence. Often we can get uh, the Viveka will would be helpful in psychotherapy where we can uh, assess the person's uh, feelings. And Vairagya. Vairagya is nothing but it's a, dis, a kind of disinterest in anything connected to the current life. That is, mind is controlled by non-attachment uh, and we experience in this state through giving. 
and it can be achieved by chitta suddhi and also it can be achieved by nirguna dhyana and also under the guidance of sadguru we can realize the vedantic realization nirguna dhyana means it's a kar sorry yeah. sir hearing lots of disturbance yes. from your side yeah no, i'm fine with it actually now it's okay now it's okay okay yeah nirguna nirguna dhyana means it's a it's a kind of uh, not having any uh, rupa that means you are meditating on the uh, self and uh, the next concept is called the last concept it is called sanyasa sanyasa is uh, nothing but psych- sacrificing the self for do for doing service to the mankind that means abnegation of mind from all the desires and egoism and we uh, we can achieve perfectness in our life and uh, we also can see oneness of all in the brahman finally what i would like to say is oh, we have discussed all the major concepts of um yoga which would help us in uh, realizing uh, and uh, performing day to day activities in our life in conclusion uh, if we follow all those ancient techniques by the methods what they were discussing it would be very difficult for a common man especially in this modern uh, modern uh, uh, generation so um, we are, what i would say is what all these major concepts can be done in one go by using sahaja marga raja yoga meditation where a divine power would the transmission of the power would help us to exhaust the karmas and vasanas and we can also achieve the highest state which is called brahman and we can find cosmic love in every living being and karmas according and by doing the karmas according to the nature and following the dharma of god and keeping the mind with truth and rightful thoughts so that kind of persons um, we can live our life very helpfully and peacefully and uh, basically i am not saying if to by following this you have to give up give up everything what you are doing basically we have to live our life like a bird with two wings one is with worldly life another one is with spiritual life and uh, whatever i have told you about the sahaja marga raja yoga i have been practicing from 2007 and i am um, actually achieving whatever i discuss with you this is what i am achieving and uh, i also when i used to live in australia i used to help people uh, now for following this kind of meditation and i used to connect such sets so if you need if any one of you want to not if you any one of you this is actually very easy method uh, to follow and achieve both lives so if any one of you are very much interested you can i can i'm there to help you all and uh, i must uh, thank um, tau uh, for giving me this opportunity and also thanks for our uh, co participants for uh, listening and i hope this presentation is useful to you all thank you